Hello and welcome to the inspiration pop-up of this week. Hello, Bridget, to South Africa. Hello, how are you doing? Very well. And we have something to celebrate. You are organizing your first morning retreat in Cape Town. When is it? So it's on the 26th of March. It's the last Saturday in March for ladies only from 9 to 12.30. Introduction to meditation and then a light vegetarian lunch. And also this is, this is going to be the start of doing monthly morning retreats for ladies. So what I thought it would be worthwhile talking about today is mindset. Because so meditation and mindset are obviously entwined, you know. So the meditation helps with the mindset because it starts with that. So that's what I thought we could talk about today. Yeah, wonderful subject because mindset matters wherever in every part of life, even if it's relationship or health or growth everything what you want to change there is a mindset you should develop because if you stay in the same mindset you had it will always bring you the same what you wished or had in your mind no? so that's the thing so where is it going to happen in cape town or in old bay so it's going to happen in half bay so people just email me if they want to come and then i will send them the details it is limited number wise so I'm only taking 10 people and at the moment I'm on seven. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, a, it's, an it's an exciting time because it's something to build from. Yeah. And, and I just wanted to share actually some research that was done. And what they did was they took a bunch of housekeepers okay. and they said to them, do you believe you do exercise? Is your job exercise you know do you do you do physical activity and they said no 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 so they said so you don't do any exercise i said no 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 physical activity no so they didn't see housekeeping as physical activity which is actually very very active so what they did was they took these people and put them into two different groups and the one group they did a presentation and in the presentation they showed what activity is and actually you know, what hoovering burns up and making beds burns up and cleaning bathrooms. And, and they showed the benefits and actually how active the job is. And what happened after four weeks was the people who went to the presentation actually lost weight and were healthier than those that didn't. And they said, yeah, you might think, oh, well, what were they doing on the side? They weren't doing any more, any more work, any, any more extra hours. They didn't join the gym down the road. But it was purely the way that they saw their activity or the lack thereof. And I think that's powerful because for me, being a mindset coach around healthy living, if your mindset isn't in line with that, it's very hard to live a healthy, active lifestyle if your mindset's not in line with that. Right. Right, it, this, it's the same for me, what I'm doing, no? uh, what we are doing also together. If your inner mindset or your inner voice, I could also say, no? is aligned with what you want to show or if you want to touch people, I would say, like, take the example, to be on stage and to really want to motivate people who are listening to you because it's your subject you are talking about and you want to really... Um, enlight the people with passion or inspiration or whatever, then your inner mindset should be, yes, I'm really happy to do that. Or I really want to show that, or I want to move people. And this is so amazing what that can turn. And as well, as I told you, you always said, and we were doing these talks from the castle, you remember, and I had always this inner wisdom i want to do once uh, my workshops or a coaching retreat on a castle it shouldn't have been this castle but i love to have this world of wonder and you know what in july for 11th to the 14th i'm get, giving my first retreat on schloss bieberstein yeah so we have it now and they, they are all welcoming us even if i'm not a teacher there anymore and we can bring people to this magical place. That's the same, yeah? So the mindset, the vision was set in the right direction. 
And that's the thing, mindset is setting your mind to your vision, I would say, or program it to your vision. Exactly. It's your, it's, yeah, it's your interpretation of how you see I, everything. Everything and the world, no? How you see and your world and the world around you. And no matter whether it is, even if you think about stress, there's two ways of looking at stress. You know, mm. some people see stress as a negative and therefore it feeds into the negative. Whereas other people will see stress as actually, it's very productive. You know, you get out there, everything's heightened, you get things done, you're feeling very driven, you're feeling motivated. So I just, I think it's so important to look at what part of your life is maybe not working or you find it very challenging. And then to look at, well, what is your mindset around that? Mm -hmm. And then to look at what is it going to take for you to shift that mindset? Is it more knowledge? Is it more information? Is it talking to more people? Is it speaking to a coach? Is it speaking to a therapist? What is that going to take? But that shifting is so, so important. Yeah, or it's if, if you are in a traffic jam and you could go with the mindset, oh, damn, I don't, I, I'm losing time and I could have done this, I could have done this. Or you think, oh, what a present to have 10 minutes more to think over this and this and this subject or to prepare a speech or to prepare my next seminar or my next talk. And then it's open. No? So you, you have a lot as a, yeah, a range of possibilities, except or instead of doing this is not good yeah and this is mindset work is so much more as a, yeah it's so much more worth than anything else of coaching as a, it's good to to dive into your emotions and everything but if you can make this shift it's a shift for a lifetime and that's why it's an introduction because for some people who've never done meditation it seems overwhelming the idea of sitting down to stillness for any length of time without any distractions almost can get people quite panicked and quite stressed mm. and that's why having the introduction it's a slow build up but you know taking the five minutes focusing on the breathing so that people get comfortable with it so they don't feel overwhelmed but instead they think well how can i actually implement that And as well, it's so important to feel as well what your body makes with one negative mindset and with a positive mindset. It's the same like with affirmations. If you feel like, oh, my life is so hard or it's so full of, I don't know, appointments, how does it feel? For many people, it feels like this, it's something heavier on, on the back or on the shoulders. And if you just turn it around and say, okay, I ha I'm having so much diversity in life. It's inspiring. I'm meeting so much people or so many people. Then you see what my body is just making. So it's a direct connection between my mindset and body, what we have. Yeah, absolutely. And if, if you are feeling like you want to make a shift and you want to know more, email me. And if you, if you live in Cape Town, that is. But if you do live in Cape Town, and you would like to know more, email me and it'd be great to have you to join us. 26th of March is the date. And if you're living in Germany and you're watching this, then come to the castle 11th to the 14th of July, even if it's our birthday, because we have the same day, the birthday on the 14th of July. Um, I, would happy, I would be happy if Richard comes to Germany to join us. This would be the special guest. We will see how we make that happen. And I'm coming in next January to Cape Town, so perhaps I can join the morning routine and then we meet all together. Have a great week and be inspired. Bye.